we're going to go through how to make this light ray effect for use in the Blender game engine, including making the texture in GIMP as well. So we might as well go ahead and jump into tutorial now. So we're going to go ahead and go to GIMP. So I'm going to be creating a new texture here and the resolution is going to be a width of 200 and a height of 400, which will give us this nice square. Now we can add alpha channel just by left clicking on that thing. Then we can go add a box select tool. So just going to grab that. We're going to place down some white in there. I'm going to select this whole thing and we're going to click enter. Then we're going to go ahead and erase this. So this cell 002 if you want to use that. So we can go ahead and just grab all of this. There we go. All right. So that looks good. Now we're going to come to filters blur, Gaussian blur, making sure that the horizontal is 6 and the vertical is 50, making sure this chain is not connected or else it will not work. There we go. So now we have our texture. So we're going to go ahead and grab this tool here, which I have forgotten the name of. Uh, so we're going to drag the bottom of this down uh, to about there, just so that you can see the rays are stretching now. So it actually looks a bit like a ray. So as you can see, I am just merging everything and just making it all clean. You don't need to do that. You can just export if you like. And I'm going to export to the desktop. And this is going to be named Ray 3 because I already have two other rays in the scene. So ooh, 3, Ray 3. Then we're going to export to our desktop. Export. You can wait for this to finish pretty fast. Then you're going to come back here. And we want to enable an add-on, which is going to be in the user preferences, add-ons. And then we can search import, and then it should just pop up. You don't need to write the whole thing if you want. You can just write import, or you, just a bit of it. You want to enable the import images as planes. Then you can go ahead and go shift A, add image as plane, and you can go find that image. So it's Ray 3 for me. I can go import, and it's down there for some reason, so let me just move that to the back to center with alt g go into texture mode Ooh, bit ugly but we can fix that we can go ahead and come down to here change this to glsl right so now that that is done what we can go ahead and do is enable shadeless and then we can come down here enable transparency z transparency and trans transparency to zero use alpha is important then also alpha down here, which will just make everything work. There we go. So there is our texture done. And it works perfectly. Now one thing to note is if you don't import it using this one, this backface culling will be ticked. And you won't be able to see it from certain sides. So you want to just untick backface culling. You're going to need to be in Blend Game Engine to see that. All right. So now, what we can go ahead and do is go Alt-D. Oh, sorry, we want to go into edit mode, move this up, and then go Alt-D, rotate it, then Alt-D again, rotate it, and then we can go Alt-D again, not Control-D, Alt-D. So this is a Jubilee object, which means if we edit one, they all get edited. So if we move this down, what you see is that all moving it looks really cool when you do it. So as you can see, our rays are pretty much set up. Everything should work fine. Now what we should do is we select this all and try to move it. Uh, something is wrong. Ah, there we go. We need to join this all up. Now it's one mesh. So there we go. So if we grab this and then we move it down. Make sure it, we select all the vertices. Move it down. Now we have some rays kind of coming out of a window if you wanted that effect, which looks pretty awesome. Now, it still looks a bit ugly because there's white, there's just a big, huge, empty area there. The way you can fix that is you can either, either add another bit of a texture or you can just be a bit cheaty, add in a plane, which I'm going to do, and you can just add new material, make this shadeless, and make sure that it's as wide as you can possibly get it. then you want to actually I need to assign it <laughs> scale this down all right and oh 
back face culling's happening there. So if I flip that around, press play, yep, it's working. Yeah, it's a little bit dull, I think. So we can go ahead and fix that just by disabling shade list and changing emission to two. There we go. Now, pretty much looks like what we want. You could do a little bit more fiddling and you would get exactly how you want it. And if that was indented in the wall, you wouldn't even notice it. And you'll just get this great ray effect. So this could be some windows in a castle or something. I'm sure you could come up with something cool. But if you want to find more tutorials like this or tutorials on other subjects or more advanced subjects, you can go to blenderreel.com or you can find them on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great week and see what you can come up with. And if you have a tutorial suggestion, also comment down below as well.